Over recent decades, an alarming phenomenon has affected men throughout the Western world. Men today appear to have lower testosterone levels and fertility than previous generations. It's believed that endocrine disrupting chemicals or EDCs may be a significant contributor to declining semen quality and baseline testosterone. Males exposed to EDCs experience suppressed testosterone expression. While this can be a problem for older men, endocrine disrupting chemicals can have a devastating impact on male physiological development, especially during fetal development. A recent study published in the scientific periodical Human Reproduction explores how EDC exposure in the womb impacted male semen quality. A couple of years ago, a Swiss study showed that 62% of men from Switzerland had semen quality below the average World Health Organization threshold. This prompted a collaboration among researchers from IRSET and the University of Geneva to explore how men are impacted by their mother's exposure to endocrine disrupting chemicals during pregnancy. Researchers discovered that men whose mothers were likely to have been exposed to such chemicals had more than double the likelihood of lower than average sperm count and semen volume. Endocrine disruptors are a broad class of synthetic and natural substances that chemically disrupt hormone balance. These chemicals can act directly on the male physiology or they can interfere with future generations on a genetic level. There is a vast array of animal research that, that shows that how these chemicals can inhibit normal sexual development, but human study is more nuanced. While lifestyle, activity level, and other elements can also impact male fertility, it's undeniable that endocrine disruptors are a major factor in declining fertility. This study worked with data gathered from 3,000 men, all of which were Swiss conscripts. Of those 3,000 men, 1,045 had a mother that worked while pregnant. Each of these men underwent an analysis of semen quality that included sperm morphology, motility, concentration, and semen volume. The men whose parents worked filled out detailed forms explaining the environment and circumstances of their mother's employment. With this information, researchers could infer the extent to which mothers were potentially exposed to EDCs. These inferences were predictive of sperm and semen quality in the men. Furthermore, researchers could establish which endocrine disruptors had the biggest impact on adult males. Based on the collected data, researchers found that mothers exposed to heavy metals, phthalates, and pesticides were at elevated risk of having children with suppressed sperm number and semen volume. While future research is necessary to determine how these changes affect fertility, it provides strong evidence that endocrine disrupting chemicals have a powerful impact on male physiology. While these chemicals are most dangerous and problematic for developing males, they can still lead to hormone imbalance and disruption in adulthood. Men that are impacted early in development by EDCs may be more likely to require hormone therapy intervention during adulthood. Men that are exposed to these chemicals during adulthood may also experience chronic low T issues resulting from exposure. If you found this video informative and would like to learn more about endocrine disrupting chemicals or to inquire about testosterone replacement therapy, please click the link below in the description of this video.